Hi everybody, so today I am going to be look at this lovely book by Mobius. First time it's been translated and released uh, into English. The World of Edina Mobius, and this is the first release in the Mobius, Mobius Library, released by Dark Horse, uh, from what I know from friends... Uh, since his passing away at least, maybe even before that, uh, the Mobius estate has been very strict on releasing stuff, at least in English, which is a bit of a shame because his work is absolutely stunning and should be shared. Normally it's the opposite when someone does pass away. Uh, stuff gets released straight away. So let's open this up. This was $49.99. So not exactly cheap, but I think it's definitely worth it. And on the back, let's just take the cellophane off. It does have uh, a quote from Frank Quietly, uh, and you can definitely see the influence uh, that Mobius had on Frank's art, as well as, of course, uh, Jeff Darrow. So, yeah, this is a very big book. So, I understand it, there were five. Uh, comics or in the um, original release that was in France so we have introduction about the world of Adina about this edition beginning the Adina cycle chapter 1 Part 1, Repairs, Chapter 1, Part 2, Upon the Star, Chapter 2, The Gardens of Edina, and sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Chapter 3, The Goddess, Chapter 4, Stell, Chapter 5, SRA, Biography and Select Biography. So you have an um, introduction by Mobius, Sean Mobius Girard, which of course is posthumous. I never give the keys to my stories. My stories are not like a box of spaghetti and they don't come with instructions on how long you must put them in boiling water before you eat. I deliberately never help anyone because if I do that I feel I'm undercutting the pleasure of the reader one's freedom to find in my stories what they find interesting besides if I'm so proud of my work it must be allowed to stand alone I must tell the readers I've done my part now it's your turn to be creative However, we artists can only go as far as the people can follow us. We are not alone, we are part of a system, we can take risks. But if you want to go to the peak of your consciousness, you may very well find yourself alone, even if you know how to translate what you saw. Maybe only ten people will be able to understand what you see, what you tell, sorry. But if you have faith in your vision and retell it again and again, you will start noticing that after a time, more people will begin to catch up with you. I certainly found that with my stories, it is a little bit the same in science and technology. A discovery begins 
with a scientist alone in his laboratory. Then 10 years later, everybody has it in their living rooms. And then about it, uh, about this edition, all line art and colour files for this collection were provided by Mobius Production and every story page has been re-lettered by Adam Pruitt, editor Philip R. Simon, or Simone probably, retranslated and reworked the dialogue and captions in chapters 1 to 4 to be more in line with existing French editions. The final chapter, SI, was translated into English for the first time for this, for this edition by Diana Schultz and uh, Brandon Kander, Isabel Girard and Claire Champeval provided guidance on the additional text pieces and spot art used throughout this volume and gave final approval on this project. So I'll just quickly look through this. Straight away there, the art is just stunning. This style is just instantly recognisable. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I know I'm repeating myself, but I just can't help it. It's blowing me away. The quality of the artwork.
recommend this book enough. And I haven't even read it or got halfway through. I mean, look at that. That is stunning. Watch out, uh, YouTube might ban this video for nudity. Pages crinkling. Skipping some pages now, I just mean to flip through it quickly, but it's just such a big book. Oh, I mean, look at that. That is just wowzers. I can definitely see Frank quietly there. It's lovely there. In ninety two, it seems that uh, you do at least this part. When his signatures dated, When I ordered this, uh, I probably did see the page 
account, but I never did expect it to be this big in person. Oh, that is gorgeous. I mean, I didn't show you the rest of it, you probably did read it, but at the back there's um, quotes as well from George Lucas, Hayao Miyazaki, so it just goes to show you how highly regarded he is, although maybe some of you don't think so with the George Lucas. He did uh, concepts for Alien, Tron, I'm sure there's other films I can't remember off the top of my head. Here we've got the biography and the man himself. That was 2010. Uh, fortunately, he died March the 10th, 2012. 73 years of age. Let's see if it says here what other films he worked on. The Fifth Element, uh, The Abyss. Uh, select bibliography as Rack, of course, or as Arzak. Sorry, pronounced it wrong. The Silver Surfer one is fantastic with Stanley. So yeah, that is the art of Adina. Jeez. And Mobius Libraries inside Mobius. Parts 1 to 3, 3 volumes in 2018. So that's something to definitely look forward to. What was it? How many pages? So this was, I can't remember how much it was in the English pounds, but 350 plus pages for 49.99. That is actually pretty decent value for money. Federico Fellini. I consider Mobius more important than Dory. It's definitely true that I created Nausea with Mobius' influence here Mizaki. He is a master draftsman, a superb artist and more. His vision is original and strong. But yeah, I can't recommend this book enough. Definitely worth purchasing. Nice cover as well. Use of uh, gloss. I can't remember exactly what it was called. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick look at this new book. Can't wait to 
delve into it and actually read it. I think it may take quite a while though, of that size. Anyway, peace to all. Take care. Bye.